welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. I would love to have you subscribe, like, comment, and if you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. So in today's video, I am going to be using a new eyeshadow palette in my collection. And I found this palette after I watched Makeup by Pia W's new makeup release video. Now I will have that video and her channel linked in my description box. If you guys have not watched that video, you need to go watch it because it's amazing. Now Pia, Dion, and I, we have a group chat going on Instagram right now because we are planning something, which I will not be revealing today. But she told me, you got to go watch that video, sis, because there is a palette in that video that I think you're going to fall in love with. And she was absolutely right. So I watched the video. I went to the brand's website and the palette was sold out. I was like, <laughs> and then I remembered that she said that the palette was also available on the Ulta website. And I had a couple of uh, Ulta gift cards that still had a couple bucks on each of them. So I used those to help me buy the palette. And that is the Def Leppard palette from Rock and Roll Beauty. Yes. Now, Rock and Roll Beauty is a U.S. indie brand, and there's two gentlemen that own the brand. Uh, one's name is Paul. He's a huge fan of Rush, that rock group. I'm not sure if you're familiar with them, but they are amazing. And then Matt is the other owner, and he is a huge fan of U2. So they wanted to bring their love for rock and roll into the beauty world. And they do have a Jimi Hendrix collection uh, on that website, the brand's website, that I think is really cool, too. There's a couple palettes that I'm like, huh, I might need to get those, too. But you know what? I need to slow down. Just get one palette at a time. Time. I'm just thrilled that I have this palette. This was, I think, $24. I was so happy that it was still available through Ulta. And I think this is so cool. It's shaped like a triangle. We have the leopard, deaf leopard, and their signature writing on the front here. And then when you open it up, we have, of course, the color story here. But this part is really cool, too. This is uh, from the album cover of the album Hysteria, which is my favorite deaf leopard album ever. Now, this color story kind of threw me a little bit. Uh, my husband and I both looked at it. He was thrilled, actually, that I got this palette because uh, he's a huge Def Leppard fan, too. And I told him that Rock and Roll Beauty had released a Def Leppard palette. He was like, get it, get it. What are you, crazy? We were texting each other when he was at work. And he's like, you better get that palette. And I did. But when I opened it up, and he was there with me when I did, we were both kind of surprised at the color story. It's a little tamer than I thought it would be. I guess what kind of threw me was when you look at the album cover here, there's yellow, red, black, white, purple, maybe a little bit of blue. And yes, we do have a blue here and we do have a purple, but there really isn't like a black matte in here. There's not a bright red. There's not a bright green. I mean, yeah, there's a yellow here, but that's not the same color as that. I don't know. I just was a little bit taken aback by the color story. I do like it. I just thought, is it really truly Def Leppard? I don't know. I guess we're going to find out when I create my look. And I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet with this palette, but I kind of have an idea. So if you guys are interested to see me use the Def Leppard palette, oh yes, from Rock and Roll Beauty, then please sit back, relax, and let's get started. All right, let's get started with this look using the Def Leppard palette from Rock and Roll Beauty. Oh yeah. Now I do have all of my face makeup on. This eyelid is primed in the P. Louise eyeshadow base and my brows are done. Wash, rinse, repeat. Okay, now let's open this baby up again. And I think what I'm gonna do is a purple and brown look. I just, I don't know, I've been doing a lot of blues and teals and green looks lately and like some what yellow and orangey looks too. So I kind of wanted to just, I don't know, mix it up a little bit. So I'm gonna start off with this shade here called Promise and I'm gonna put that in my transition area. This is just kind of like a light purple matte. And we'll see what we think of this bad boy. I'm really hoping that I like this palette because if I don't, I'm going to be kind of disappointed because I am so madly in love with Def Leppard, like I said. I started listening to Def Leppard when I think I was like, I don't know, maybe third or fourth grade. And the album that I listened to was called Pyromania. That was the very first exposure that I had to Def Leppard. I had the biggest crush on Joe Elliott, which is their lead singer. I had a huge poster of him. Actually, I had a couple of posters of him throughout the years in my room on my wall. I just loved him. And Def Leppard formed in 1977, and they are from the UK. I can't remember the name of the city that they lived in. I think it was like Sheffield or something like that. Those of you that live in the UK that know a lot more about this than I do, feel free to comment away in the comment section and correct me here. And this matte is very nice. It's very nicely pigmented. It's blending out nicely. I like it. And it's, you know, pretty true to pan. There's not a lot of kick up in the pan. Uh, I don't know. I, I really like it. I think it's beautiful. Yay. <laughs> Winning so far. Okay, now what I'm going to do is go into this darker brown shade. This is called Immortal, and I'm going to put that in my outer V. And purple and brown together has always been a really wonderful color combination for me. I haven't done a purple and brown look in a really long time, so that was kind of my other motivation here was to just, I don't know, 
do something that I love, but just that I hadn't done in a while. And this is a very nicely pigmented dark brown matte. I guess I was just kind of surprised that there wasn't like a black matte in the palette. I don't know. Uh, my husband's like, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't really get that color story. And he was like looking up pictures of their other album covers. He's like, well, maybe, you know, Hysteria wasn't their like main inspiration behind the color story, but we really couldn't find anything else that was really like close to this color story, but you know, it's okay. You know, just because it wasn't my vision doesn't mean that it's wrong. And I'm just kind of taking this a little bit into my transition area, but not completely across or the crease. I guess that's what that's called. Okay, and I'm going to go back into Promise just a little bit here and just kind of go around the edge here. Just kind of circular motions here. Just kind of blend that out a little bit better. Uh, the drummer for Def Leppard, his name is Tony Kenning, I believe. Um, he was in a horrible car accident and had his left arm completely severed. And as a drummer, uh, he pretty much thought that his career was over. I mean, how do you drum with only one arm? So now I'm gonna go into this purple shimmer called Beautiful and put that across the lid. And I can't remember exactly when this happened or how soon this happened after he had his arm severed, but he was able to have a pedal made so that he could drum and it would sound like he had both of his arms. I mean, you would never know. If you listen to him, you would never know that he only had one arm and he is just, incredible incredible drummer to this day he is amazing and yeah was totally able to adapt and uh just you know be the amazing drummer that he is missing an arm and that is so amazing and you know just shows a lot of dedication and the fact that he really truly is an absolute artist you know i mean that would be so hard i can't imagine and i don't think it was easy for him i think he you know kind of struggled with it for a while but man he just kicks ass on the drums and this is a beautiful shimmer. I love this. I don't know. I haven't really used a good lavender shimmer in quite a while. And I'm just loving this. And I think what I'm going to do too is go back over with this brush and go back into Immortal just a little bit. And just kind of blend the edge of that out. Just to make sure that looks a little bit less harsh. And now I'm going to do the lower lash line. I'm going to start off with the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Piggy Bank, putting this in my waterline. I just thought a deeper purple color would look nice with the lighter purple on the lid. And this is one of my absolute favorite ColourPop Cream Gel Liner shades that I have in my little collection. All right, let's go back into the palette and I'm going to start off with this shade called Promise and put that across my lower lash line. And my husband and I were talking the other night after we spent several minutes analyzing this palette to death uh, about what our favorite Def Leppard songs are. And I would have to say that mine is Photograph. Uh, I also love Rock of Ages and those songs are on the album Pyromania. That was the first Def Leppard album that I ever heard. I think I already said that. Love those songs. Um, also the song Foolin', that's really good. Um, I think if there's anything else on that. I mean, I like the whole album. I just, those are the songs that are popping into my head right now. And then when I was in the eighth grade, kind of ending eighth grade and going into high school as a freshman, uh, the album Hysteria came out and boy, I went a berserk over that album. And Pour Some Sugar On Me is on that album, which is one of my favorite Def Leppard songs. Um, Hysteria, which is the name of the album, of course. Um, Animal, Armageddon It, Rocket, uh, Love Bites. I mean, that entire album is just amazing. And uh, I can remember vividly walking into the cafeteria when I was in high school and we had a jukebox in our cafeteria and there was always a Def Leppard song playing, typically Love Bites or Pour Some Sugar On Me. And I still listen to those songs to this day. Now I'm gonna go back into Immortal with my little uh, lining brush here. I'm gonna put that towards the outer part of the uh, lower lash line. And Def Leppard actually came to the town that I live in several years ago. And by the time I knew they were here, I went to go buy tickets and they were sold out and I was so irritated. I actually heard that they weren't the greatest. I mean, you know, they're older. Joe Elliott is probably, well, all of the band members now are probably what, in their 60s? I should probably look that up. Because I know when I looked up how old Bat Benatar was when I did my Rocker Chick collab video, I just about fell off the chair, which is ridiculous because I'm almost 48 years old. Like, of course, and they're older than I am. So, duh. But I don't know. It really just kind of freaks me out. <laughs> I don't know why. But then I also heard other people say that they're really good. So who knows? I mean, you know, everybody hears things differently, sees things differently. I don't know. So I'm going to go back into Promise again, that purple matte, and just kind of make that look a little bit more blended, kind of smoke that out a little bit more. 
And I would love to know what your guys' favorite uh, Def Leppard songs are. If you guys are fans of the band, I would love to chat about that at length, great length in the comment section. Okay, now I wanna use a different shimmer for my inner corner shade. I mean, I could just go into Beautiful, but that's kinda snooze festy, a little boring. So let's go into Hallucinate. This is kind of like a lighter yellow shimmer and put that on the inner corner. Oh yeah, that's cool. I like that. I always like to try to do something maybe a little different in the inner corner. Not always, but sometimes I do. And I think this is really pretty. It's nice. Yeah, it's a really pretty shimmer. That's got a lot more like sparkle or like, woo, bam, to it than the beautiful shade that's on the lid. But I really do like the shimmer. I, I like the look. I think it's really pretty. I really do. I don't know that it says Def Leppard, but hey, you know. Okay, I think I'm pretty much done with this eye look. So what I'm gonna do, like I always do, is go off camera, do the other eye, add the finishing touches, and I'll come back and we'll see if I look like a true deaf leopard. I am back. This is the finished look, and I love how this look turned out, and I love this eyeshadow palette. At first, when I saw the color story, I wasn't sure that it said Def Leopard. I mean, in my mind anyway. Regardless of that, I really like how this look turned out, and I will talk about the eyeshadow palette again, but before I do that, I did want to go over a few things that I used in my finished look with you guys quickly. On my lips, I used the Cara Beauty Metal Liquid Lipstick in the shade Lawless, and I just thought this was the perfect purple shade to use with the purple component of the eye look. I love the formula of this. I'm going to have this on my lips for a while, but the color's beautiful. It's kind of sparkly, kind of metallic looking, and I just thought, you know, we're using a rock and roll palette. Why not use a rock and roll lipstick? And on my upper lid, I use the Kaleido, not to be confused with Kaleidos, Cosmetics Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Obsidian. I just forget that I have this, and I really like how this works. It's a very nice felt tip liner, goes on very easily, stays put, doesn't flake, doesn't transfer. I just forget that I have it. And for my mascara, I use the Fenty Beauty Mascara in the shade Miss Merlot. And Dion from Dion Loves Makeup, my sister friend, she sent this to me. And I know I have shown this to you guys before in other videos, but I am gonna show it to you again because it's this beautiful kind of like wine purpley colored mascara. And I just thought this would be really nice with the purple component of the eye look. And I love the formula of this mascara. It is absolutely gorgeous. Now let's discuss the Def Leppard palette from Rock and Roll Beauty that I used in my look today. And you know, even though the color story kind of threw me, I don't know that it screams Def Leppard, the quality and the formula of the shades that I used was great, it was wonderful. And I guess what I really wish they had done is put a white matte or shimmer, um, a black matte or shimmer, a really bright yellow matte or shimmer, <laughs> a really bright green matte or shimmer, or red. Uh, I just think it's kind of lacking that. And you know, the whole Def Leppard theme is not necessarily centered on the Hysteria album cover, but I don't know, that's just kind of what I thought I was gonna see. So the shades that I used to create this look today are Promise, I use that in my transition area and on my lower lash line. I used Immortal as uh, my outer V shade into my transition area and also on my lower lash line. I use this shade here called Beautiful Across the Lid. Now I don't know that that's like a true shimmer. I feel like it's almost kind of a satin shade. Uh, it's not super sparkly, super vibrant, but it's very pretty, very soft and I really like how it looks on the lid. And then I use this shade here called Hallucinate as my inner corner shade and that is beautiful. Very light yellow, kind of goldy yellow, maybe even a hint of green. I don't know. But I love the palette. I really do. I just wish the color story had been a little bit more like eye-catching, in-your-face, bam, Dev Leopard, you know? But it's not. But it's really nice. I think my look turned out really nice, and I cannot wait to play with the other shades in here. Maybe I should have done two looks with this palette. I don't know, maybe shown a little bit more diversity. But you know, I just had one look in me tonight, you guys. I am just thrilled that I have the Def Leppard palette in my collection. I am such a huge fan of Def Leppard, and I still can't believe that their drummer in 1984 lost his arm in a car accident and is probably one of the best drummers to ever drum in the history of rock and roll. It's just so inspiring to me and so motivating, and they're just a great group. If you guys are not familiar with Def Leppard, I highly recommend sitting down listening to some of their songs. I know that rock and roll is not everybody's like uh, preference, but I really do think you're gonna like the band. <laughs> I really do. I love all of their songs. I don't think I've ever listened to a Def Leppard song that I didn't like. And now I have their palette in my collection. Rock and Roll Beauty is a really cool brand. I'm gonna have their website linked in my description box. Like I said, they have a Jimi Hendrix uh, collection and there is other things, other items involved in the Def Leppard collection, not just the eyeshadow palette. They have lippies, uh, let's see, I think blush and highlighter. Um, gosh, maybe some mascara, I cannot remember. I should have looked that up before I 
sat down and filmed, but it's a really cool collection. I just wanted the eyeshadow palette because you know me, I'm a huge eyeshadow palette freak. And I would love to know if you guys like this look. And if maybe you'd be interested in seeing me use this again on my channel, let me know and I'll see what I can do to oblige you. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your busy day or evening to sit down and watch my video. It always means the world to me. If you have subscribed or you would like to subscribe, do not forget to hit the notification bell. That way you're aware of all of my future uploads. I cannot wait to see you guys again in my next video, but in the meantime, please take care of yourself, be well, safe, happy, and I hope to see you very soon. Thanks again, you guys. Take care. Bye. Drop it.